Aloha and welcome to another episode of Cape and Cow Unlimited. I'm your host Alex Burns and I'm joined with this guy. Hello. Stephen Carter. <laughs> He's a very excited guy right now. I am indeed. Yeah. Never since the uh, Doctor Strange movie was announced, he's been a bit uncontrollable, I'd say. You're a massive <laughs> Doctor Strange fan. I wouldn't, say, I wouldn't say I was massive. I'm just you like, are, man. I'm, he was... I'm massively looking forward to this film. Well, yes. Mm. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's going to provide a whole new dimension to the whole uh, Marvel franchise, really, isn't it? Mm. Um, they're going to take it into the... The strange world of magic, or uh, I mean, in early interviews anyway, I've had Kevin Feige talk about it. It's like uh, it's this weird kind of pseudo science, yeah. uh, similar to like you know how Thor gets it, you know, flies about with his magic and stuff. Oh, like so that. they they're definitely doing it more because Thor's sort of like an alien, you know, what you call magic, I call science, sort of thing. Yeah, he said, he said that it's going to refer to the same sort of ilk. I mean, I thought they were going to go all out like occult Indiana Jones magic type stuff. You know, that's mm. what I thought. Well, well, he's hoping anyway well, yeah. <laughs> that they're going to go that close. I mean, um, it's it's just looking fantastic at the moment. I mean, it's, it's early days. I mean, we've seen some shots of him uh, walking about at uh, Benedict Cumberbatch in the title role, yeah. walking around in some marketplaces, and we've also seen the actual uh, the art, the costume artwork release, concept yeah. art, and the concept costume. Art. Yeah, yeah, um, and yeah, it looks like it's going to be straight out of the comics. To be honest, yeah, we'll it? show you those now. Like, take a look at these. I mean, like you know, he's got. Straight out of the comics, that red cape, you know. Yes. Kevin Feige said something about, you know, Superman and Thor. We've got another hero <laughs> with, with a yeah, red another cape. Yeah, another guy with a red cape. Yes. Yeah, but, um, but they said that the way he moves about is it's not in the traditional sense. When he um, flies. It's kind of, yeah, it's a cloak of levitation. Ah, That's what okay, it is. Right. So it's like a, a magical aid, like yeah. a magic carpet. Sort of so thing. we're thinking more Magneto, how he uses the sort of... That's... Where I'm thinking. Yeah, he controls something that moves him. Even yeah. Thor doesn't really fly like Superman, does he? He's sort of like always. It seems like he's fra- yeah, being flung in the momentum with his hammer, sort yeah, of thing. Exactly. He's holding on for dear life. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> he's got a good grip, though. He's got a, a strong, strong mm. arm, I think. Yeah, yeah it's a good throwing <laughs> arm. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, it, it seems like, I mean, from what Kevin Feige has said anyway, um, he's got that cloak of levitation. He's not going to go out about in the sort of traditional sense. Yeah. Um, he's touched upon the sort of powers that we're going to see as well. And he says that even then, we're gonna, only going to just be seeing a glimpse of what Strange is capable of doing. So oh, really? Seen, yeah. Okay. So it's quite literally an introduction role. So I'd imagine he's probably still getting used to his powers and things like that. So what's the setup for the... Like, they're following the line where he, he's a surgeon and he breaks his hands? Like Yeah, so they're going with a traditional uh, sense. He starts off as a, an arrogant surgeon. Um, and he gets involved in an accident, basically, and he just cripples his hands. Um, and, uh, yeah, he's just searching for mm. um, a way to get back in the game, basically, and he yeah. uncovers these uh, mystic arts um, and th- things like that. Where about, so this is, we, we've got a sort of um, a glo- global movie. It's not going to be mm. that traditional sort of set in one city. No. You know, I felt like I lived in San Francisco by the end of Ant-Man, <laughs> not the amount of, like, exposition shots they yeah. did. So I love it when a, when a, when a superhero film goes a bit... A bit global. Batman Begins was a great scale. motif. I can yep. see Doctor Strange following the the same sort of role. You could, you know? you could imagine that it's going to be sort of very dark. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, Batman Begins yeah. with the, uh, the sort finding, of with the traveling, the, yeah, the the searching for something to to fill an urge, you know, mm. to, to 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 find that higher higher power. But I have to say, um, you know, based on the the images I saw, that that really sold it to me. I was kind of on the fence about it, but EW brought out those photos that we saw earlier. We'll mm. show them again for you here, and. Um, it just looks awesome. It, it really like I, I just Benedict Cumberbatch. If you if you're looking looks wise, it's straight out of the comic book page. Is another thing Marvel have done where they're just like, yeah, you know what? There's nothing wrong with that comic look. Since they did their space opera with Guardians of the Galaxy and yeah. everything like that, they kind of just thought, yeah, is that it? Let's just <laughs> throw it, I think, throw it all out there. I think it does come from there's a there's a bit of an advantage with it where you don't have preconceived notions about about Doctor Strange and what he should and shouldn't look like. Some people well, no. do. You're hardcore fans. No. It's got his, yeah, it's got yeah, his cult yeah. following and everything like that, yeah. But but I think Marvel do benefit from now they're bringing in their, you know, third tier, fourth tier characters. You yeah. Know, not out of desperation or need. They're good characters, you know. It's just like finally giving their a line. Like, 
it's like there's no one to disappoint in terms of a mass audience unless you make a, a truly shite movie, you know, like <laughs> which which I doubt they get will. those toys out there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I'm I'm looking forward to it. I like how faithful they're going. It'll be good to see because you said you mentioned to me the the director does Sinister. He's made that Sinister horror movie. Yes, yeah, so he did all the Sinister films. Yeah, um, and Exorcism of Emily Rose and everything like that. So he knows his way around a horror film. Yeah, um, and yeah. Could we possibly see another horror film uh, in terms of Marvel and everything like that? I mean, they, they've never gone that way before. Yeah. Um, I'm personally thinking that they might not. I mean, well, they'll rein it in. Everything's going to be a 12A. It's going to be 12A. And they're not gonna, yeah, it's not exactly going to be like outrageously gory yeah. or send your kids home with nightmares or anything like that. Um, but yeah, they've got the potential elements. I mean, uh, look, if you think about it, when uh, Ghost Rider came out, I'd say that it, was, that it had its jumpy moments, and that wasn't it. Yeah, so, so if they go do that, because they've got a shared sort of Ghost Rider and Doctor Strange of sort of a shared set of villains as well. There's that, that yeah. shared universe of where the magic comes from in the Marvel Universe. It's yeah. sort of from the same place, Doctor Strange and Ghost Rider. Yeah. And interestingly as well, Marvel have the rights back to Ghost Rider as well, don't they? So, Recently, yes. Could we see that sort of explored a bit better than as much as I love him, <laughs> Nicolas Cage? You know, he didn't do the best job, did he? <laughs> Unfortunately not. No, I don't no. know why he was... I'm Ghost uh... Rider. <laughs> that, was my, that was my Nicolas Cage impression. Well Ghost Rider. I'm not going to attempt. It's pretty good, isn't it? Go on, <laughs> Ghost Rider. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's it's we were talking about the villain of the movie. Who's... who's oh, who, yeah, Baron know. Mordo. So uh, we've got Chiwetel Legio 4. Yeah. Um, again, I, there's... They're keeping it very secretive there. We have we've yet mm. to see him um, in that role. I mean, we've got um, the ancient one, Tilda Swinton, haven't we? Oh, she's creepy as... You know, she's, she's got the creepy vibe, yeah. hasn't she? Chronicles um, of Narnia, man. That, that's some scary stuff going on there. <laughs> Turkish delight never seemed so terrifying, <laughs> you know? So, never take it. Yeah, the White Witch. Forget about it. Oh, I was never a fan <laughs> of Turkish delight. <laughs> really? It's delicious. Wow. Oh. Awful stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, uh, that that was a controversial one in itself, being as the yeah. character from the comics was, uh, you know, an old guy, an old wizard bishop looking guy. As they've updated Brilliant. him a bit now. Yeah. You know, made him a bit younger, a bit more of an equal equal presence. Because, of course, he's not an out-and-out out villain, though, is he? He's not... Well, that's where they've got the um, the other one. They've got Mads uh, Mikkelsen mm. um, in another. He's, they say he's that. Well, they say he's, he's another creepy villain. guy. He, he never plays a nice guy. Never... That's true. Yeah, he's been a bit typecast, hasn't he? Well, <laughs> I think he does a great job when he's being creepy. Hannibal, isn't yeah. it? That's what he's into on that TV show. I've seen a couple of mm-hmm. episodes. Pretty, pretty sweet. I mean, who, they haven't confirmed his role. No. Um, so there's some speculation on this. I mean, it could be a number of characters, but I'm in the camp that he's probably going to go for uh, Dormammu uh, the Ancient Demon Dormammu the Ancient Demon yes give me a bit of bio I'm not up on Doctor Strange <laughs> well um, I mean with uh, Dormammu um, and uh, uh, Baron Mordo mm-hmm. they've always uh, they've kind of been closely linked in the comics um, Baron Mordo has been known to sort of be possessed by the demon <gasps> Okay. From the uh, yeah. ancient dimensions and stuff, so so we could see a reveal of Mads Mikkelsen towards the end, or he might be working for him with a bit sort of you know like Darth Vader and the Emperor hologram type <laughs> yeah. thing, you know. I mean, that, that might be quite cool. <laughs> there we go. Little um, Dormammu so... hologram. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Just what I was going to say, yeah. but yeah, um, it looks like it might be going down that sort of route. Uh, we don't know for sure yet, but it's just one of those things. It's something we don't want to keep our ear close to the ground for. Really. Yeah, it looks incredible. <coughs> Rachel Adams is also starring, and you know, it's got an impressive cast. You know, she's well at your four is obviously Twelve Years a Slave. He was in Serenity as well, which yeah. is one of my all-time favorite movies. And he was a bad guy in Serenity as well, and he was really, yes. really good bad guy. I loved him, man. That was. One of my, one one of my favorite movies. Ages, yeah, actually. we need to go and watch that again. <laughs> but um, we're going to keep our ear to the ground on Doctor Strange. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch looks incredible. That dude just doesn't stop working. He, he's done so much. Man. No, well, it nearly ne- didn't happen, did it? Because his, uh, his schedule was so busy for 2016. And it's not even since he got big. If you like, you know, you browse like Now TV and, you know, Amazon and all that, and it's just like Benedict, Benedict Cumberbatch, Benedict Cumberbatch, period pieces. The dude's made like. <laughs> 50 period pieces for like the BBC and stuff yeah. like that. He's just in there wearing different wigs. He looks great. You know? <laughs> <laughs> of course, Sherlock and, you know, um, the Hobbit movies and, and now... He's even done the Strange. New Zealander films as well. Is he? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Zoolander 2, I'm looking forward to that as well. God, oh, there's a lot of good movies out there. Is that this year's Zoolander yeah. 2? 
<laughs> there we go. Do you blue steel? <laughs> should have signed off on that. Yeah, we should have signed <laughs> off on that. But we'll get out of here now before that stays in your mind any longer. Mm. Doctor Strange is out November, November this year. Yep, November this year, towards the end. Yep. Excellent. We'll keep you informed in it. A new trailer is bound to be released soon. So uh, stay tuned to capercow.co.uk. Like and subscribe. See you around. See you later.